so hello friends once again welcome back to the automation revolution in this video we are going to learn about ram function generator in siemens g120 ac drive before we start the configuration uh, let me explain about ramp up and ramp down time so ramp up time means uh, time required uh, for motor to reach maximum speed uh, from the initial stage and uh, ramp down time means when uh, motor is in uh, maximum speed and from there to uh, we need to go forward uh, stop so time required uh, for uh, stopping the drive or motor that we call as a uh, ramp down time so in some of the application like man uh, train uh, metro train where we are using traction motor or uh, sometimes in blower in crane applications that in that case uh, load is variable so according to uh, the load we need to uh, give the ramp up and ramp down time so uh, sometimes uh, we are feeling the jerk uh while motor is uh, reaching the maximum speed or when from the maximum speed to it uh, goes uh, zero speed so in in order to avoid that uh, uh jerk we are using ramp function generator so you can see in uh, siemens g120 uh, ac drive uh, we have configured this ramp function generator and uh, as per our previous video we have first Uh, make commissioning in a uh, starter software G120 AC drive, and then we have configured input and output uh, for enable the drive and set point inversion and acknowledge the fault. Then uh, from the set point channel, we will get option ramp function generator. So here we will get uh, this diagram to configure uh, ramp function generator. so here you can see uh, we have already enable ramp function generator and here you can assign uh, digital input as well here uh, speed set point is also enable uh, start the ramp function generator is also enable and you can assign any digital input as per your requirement uh, to enable ramp function generator and uh, uh, speed set point here downside we will get uh, off 1 and off 3 uh, enable so you can configure any stop method as per your requirement after that uh, we will go for this extended ram generator so i will click on that uh, box so we will get this option so here you can see uh, we will get one diagram and from there uh, initial rounding and final rounding time we can vary so uh, in uh, train application we uh, we need to avoid jerk so that uh, you can assign here ramp up scaling factor and ramp down scaling factor so here you can assign any analog uh, input and as per the analog uh, input uh, you can assign here ramp up and ramp down time so uh, according to uh, the percentage of that ramp up scaling factor and ramp down scaling factor uh, it will vary uh, the speed and uh, as per uh, this initial rounding and final rounding ultimately uh, we can uh, remove the jerk from the load so uh, we will first see the help menu so you can see effective ramp up time will be uh, uh, ramp up time plus initial rounding by 2 and final rounding by 2 so this is the equation from uh, uh, where we can get effective uh, ramp up time and uh, effective ramp down time so you can see here uh, i have configured uh, one analog input so you can go for further interconnection and uh, parameter number r755 so you can configure analog input 0 here and here i configured analog input 1 here you can uh, give ramp up time and ramp down time as per your uh, requirement or load and here i have given initial rounding and final rounding time so as per the equation uh, we will get here effective ramp up time so you can see here right now uh, i have given this ramp up scaling factor uh, 99% means approximately 100% so as per that equation we will get 27.94 second uh, effective ramp up time so when uh, we'll enable the drive so motor will reach a uh, maximum speed in 27.95 uh, 94 second and uh, when uh, we will 
uh, stop this drive so this motor uh, will get a ram down time approx 37.19 uh, second as per the equation uh, here we have seen uh, from the help menu so uh, after configuring this ramp up and ram down uh, scaling factor uh, we will see how effectively uh, we can see uh, in practical way so now you can see here uh, we have configured ramp up scaling factor and ramp down uh, scaling factor and uh, according to that equations we are getting effective ramp up time and effective ramp down time so right now uh, both analog uh, signals is uh, 99 percentage so approx 100 percent uh, we are giving signal so uh, as per that we are getting 27.94 uh, second uh, for ramp up time and uh, 37 point uh, 90 second uh, for effective ram down time so you can vary uh, this percentage and you can see as per that this effective ramp up time and ram down time will vary so i am uh, decreasing this ramp up scaling factor and as per that effective ramp up time will uh, vary now i will decrease this ramp down scaling factor you can see effective ram down time is also uh, changing so when i will enable uh, this drive so in uh, 30 second uh, this motor will be uh, reach at maximum speed so let's see so after setting uh, ramp up and ramp down function generator uh, we will see practically uh, from the c120 ac drive so i will enable the drive first and uh, here we have these two analog port that we have used uh, to vary this ramp up and uh, ramp down uh, scaling factor so you can see from this IOP this motor uh, will reach maximum speed as per the effective ramp up time and when I will increase this time so as per that it will get uh, maximum speed and this analog port is for uh, changing ramp down effective time so when i will off this motor so you can see uh, as per the ram down uh, effective time it will stop and it will uh, minimum speed so this is how we can configure ramp up function generator and uh, we can remove the jerk uh, from induction motor and as per the load we can uh, start very smoothly and we can stop this motor very smoothly so thank you very much for watching.